Hello everybody, this is introduction to electrical and electronic uh, department and engineering. Lecture one is about the introduction to the course by Mr. Amr Abdul Bari. I am from the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, nearest university, and this is my email. So let's begin. The main menu, I will start to speak about building a circuit, then the fields within the electrical engineering, finally, where is to learn more. First, if you think about uh, the electrical uh, engineering and or the electricity, you think about a circuit, a circuit that connect a power to the load. For example, here we have a battery, we have a switch, we have a lamp, which is the basic circuit you can find around yourself. So this battery, we this is where the power supply. This is where you generate the uh, electricity. We will talk later about what is electricity. So now, if you find this is the battery that you see it in the uh, supermarket and in your home, this is where the electricity comes from. This is a battery, so it is save some volts it not forever then you will found that this is where you can connect the this part of the battery to this place which is called a conductor we will call we will speak later about what is conductor conductor is the part of the uh, that conduct or transfer the electricity from a place to place like a wire a fiber wire or a copper wire so this is a switch which have two uh, points this point i will connect it to the first point of the battery then usually we use uh, uh, a switch for controlling for safety so we have a switch here and we should connect it to the battery from this side like this and then the other side it will be connected to the load whatever the load is the load here is a, a lamp the pulp the normal pulp okay so here the wire the connecting a wire is a conductor again it's a conductor so it transfers the electricity inside of it which meaning that if i connect it to the lamp and i complete the circuit the lamp will uh, light up okay so now where is the places like this there is two point here remember in the lamp or the pulp light up so there is uh, a place here this is the uh, first one and this is the second one here as you see so i will connect one of them to this side of the switch and the other one to the battery okay so like this there is a conductor again and finally i will see that to finish the this circuit the simple circuit we have to connect it again the final step to the battery so the electricity it goes in a circuit that is uh, closed not open so there is always two uh, two sides of the battery two sides of the switch two sides of the bulb so one of them is connected from one side of the circuit and the other side is connected to the other side so each element is like passing the electrons inside it okay and this element have a function this element have a function what is the name what is the meaning by function this element the, what it does so i what it does the switch the switch turn off the light or turn on the light the bulb it is lightening it is lightening if there is electricity if there is no if there is dark so this is how 
we have everything okay now the last thing in our simple electricity here a uh, simple uh, circuit we have to switch on the circuit so always remember that in electricity we have a control circuits and this is a simple one of course but we have a control circuits so for safety and for the safety of the engineers and the safety of the design and the safety of the circuit of course here this is a part for example if it is your laptop you don't Ha, you don't uh, uh, want to uh, damage your laptop, for example, or your uh, fridge or the, any device here because you, you don't know what is the source here. So after finishing everything and knowing that everything is okay, then you will switch it on. Now the switch on, then the light is coming up out of the bulb so it is okay so this is the simplest circuit that you can uh, uh, build in your home and all the circuits around is more or less like this one but there is a sophisticated uh, uh, and different components that we use to fit and to uh, be appropriate for different purposes for example the laptop there is colors in the screen for example so these colors where it come from so there is a different type of uh, pulp for example okay and so on so the fields of electrical engineering is four of them power engineering communication engineering microelectronics engineering and computer engineering this one is related to the electrical engineering but in uh, maybe it is in a different uh, department so power engineering they work with the, from the basics from the beginning of the where they get the electricity so they work from the generation of the electricity usually in your city you will see there is a generator for example from uh, a natural uh, source or from for example a uh, petrol uh, engine or petrol station this is uh, a generation of the electricity then they transmit it in a high voltage like this one if you see it in your in your home these uh, pictures is for a high voltage and medium voltage transmission lines and then they to the distribution of the electricity they lower down the the voltage to fit for the streets the normal uh, electricity in the street and in the home and the, to fit it for for example uh, for the uh, factories and other the companies and other uh, different uh, uh, purposes and also for the design of the elect power electronics so there is a design and sophisticated electronics and circuits so they can control the amount of power so you see there is a, a cutoff of the the power in a places and they can count the uh, cost on each home how much they uh, uh, they consume from the electricity this month for example and the engineering that work in this uh, field they follow the guidelines from the national electronic or electrical safety code or the national uh, uh, law about the uh, electric codes so they ensure that everybody in the country in a specific country they follow the same rules the same guidelines to ensure safety and reliable power so nothing will go wrong okay communication engineering second thing they work with the devices the medium and and the devices for the people to connect to connect with each other so from the invention of this device the telephone by alexander graham bell who in 9, uh, 1876 to the fm the radio i know that some of you uh, heard about that by Edwin Armstrong and this 
engineering work with theoretical and complex theories to deliver all the kind of matches so they deliver the music for example all the good morning programs in the radio until now we have fiber optics and 4g smart or cell phones okay so they here they work with the uh, communication the connection between people in the computer engineering they works with the softing the softwares the application the operating system that is in each device around you so the interface that the user work with it so nobody of us work with the directly with the uh, uh, circuits inside the fridge for example or the uh, cell phone you work with application so the computer field they deal with that they design the software for the website for the for every purpose that you imagine you can imagine uh, for the computers for the cell phones for the, any device around you there is a small program working over and over and over and you just work uh, interact with it you don't you didn't interact with the uh, connection from your for example uh, with in in your uh, tv uh, television you work with a, a program a simple program that gives you the channel the setting and other things okay here the microelectronics engineering they work with the fabrication when design and building the device at micro uh, wide and a micro scale so they work at very 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 small scale as you see here they build uh, something circuits that's billions on mil millions sorry millions of uh, transistors and uh, electrical engineering or and electronic engineering uh, circuits uh, components and a wafer this wafer is a very very small usually they produce a processor that have more powerful that can run an entire computer system this is everywhere now in uh, early day they they do it for computers but now you will see it in the smartphone uh, your smartphone have a uh, millions and millions of circuits and they can they can fabricate it and at a very very small scale the last thing to speak about is where is to learn more about this and about what i speak today uh, the electric this uh, links yes this links is uh, to give you more information if you're interested in reading about them and this is the end thank you for listening and thank you for interesting in the field of electrical engineering i hope i can inspire you in the future lectures thank you very much